Hello everyone. Welcome to Easy Maths Online. Today our topic is about perimeter of L-shaped figure. In one of the class we have learned how to find the area of L-shaped figure. If you haven't watched, I will send the link in the description box so you can check. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Let's start. Yes. Look at this shape. Write an expression for the distance along the edges of each of the following of these shapes. What do you mean by edges? Edges means all the boundary lines. If they didn't give the directly write the find the perimeter. Here the question itself they said write the expression for the edges of this shape. Edges means a straight line, the boundaries of this shape. So you have to find the perimeter of this shape. Simplify your expression where possible. Now look at this shape. It is given x plus 5, x plus 3, x plus 2. This side is x plus 2 and this side is 3. This side, this side is missing and this small side is missing here. Here, how to find these sides? We need perimeter means we need all the sides. To find this side, let's do this one. To find this side, I, I know the bigger, this the length of this full side, the opposite side I know. And I don't know this part. I know this part. From here till here, I know this part. The half of the part, more than half, or we cannot say this is half. So other part we don't know. How to find this one? So take the longest side, opposite side, the longest one, x plus 5. So x plus 5, subtract with x plus 2. If I subtract here with x plus 2, here if I write it minus x plus 2. So if I write x plus 5, I will write it here. Again, I will write x plus 5 when I subtract with x plus 2. So if I remove this bracket, look at this. Now if I remove this minus sign, minus into plus is minus, plus into minus is minus. So here x plus 5 minus x minus 2. So here I can cancel this x and x and 5 minus 2 is 3. That means the side of this, the remaining side of this is 3. So here, how to how do we know x plus 5 should be subtracted with this one? Like if I give an, a chocolate bar. If I tell you the there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 pieces of chocolate bars are there in your chocolate. Now, this many pieces has been eaten. This many pieces. How many pieces? 1, 2. Two, three, four. The four pieces of the chocolate bar has been eaten. How many are remaining? Four pieces are eaten. And there are ten pieces total. How many are remaining? So you here you can easily count. One, two, three, four, five, six. But if it is in variable or anything, how can we find? So what you can do? You can take ten minus four give six. See, the same way here there is a number so you can easily write one two three four five six but if there is a variable if i say x there are x number of pieces of chocolate and four pieces has been eaten how many pieces are left so what you will do instead of 10 you will write it as x minus 4 is the remaining pieces isn't it so same way here let's go for back for our question look at this in the same way the length of this side is x plus 5 x plus 5 and the this part like a chocolate bar length is x plus 5 and x plus 2 pieces has been eaten so how many are remaining so what you will do you will take x plus 5 minus x plus 2 
so you will subtract the pieces of chocolate you have eaten so you subtract the number the length of this side so x plus 2 so x plus 5 minus of x plus 2 so minus will be minus x minus 2 so plus x and minus x cancel 5 minus 2 is 3 so the length of this side is 3 you can see here there is a tiny side this side also we don't know so we have to find even this side perimeter means we need all the sides so we have to find this tiny side how do we find we know the length of again we know this full length how do we know see here x plus 2 x plus 3 is the full length and we know the this part this part of this length x only 3 so x plus 3 is the bigger length and the other the smaller the other length is given as 3 so we will subtract x plus 3 minus 3 so plus 3 and minus 3 will be cancelled and x will be remaining so this tiny part is x this tiny part is x now how do we find the perimeter now so what you will do this is x plus 5 we already wrote x plus 5 then this side is 3 so we wrote 3 and we know this side we got it as 3 here so we write 3 here and this tiny part we got as x so we wrote x and this side is this side is x plus 2 so we wrote x plus 2 and the other side is x plus 3 so we add all the x how many x we have 1 2 3 and 4 x so we have 4 x plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 gives 16 and 4 and 16 are the multiples of 4 so we can take common as 4 if i take 4 common it will be 4 bracket x plus 4 4 into x is 4x 4 4 the 16 so this is the way you solve the l shape figure perimeter of this l shape figure let's do one more so that it will be easy for you now look at this l shape you can see this full length is given as y minus 1 and x plus 5 this side. This side is given five, 3 and this side is missing and this side is missing. And you can see this side is x. So I want to find the length of this because perimeter means I need this side, this side, this side we don't know. So we are, how can I take? Just now we took the full length is y minus 1. And from here till here, the side is given as 3. So it's minus 3. The bigger length minus the length, smaller length given. So y minus 1 minus 3. Minus 1 minus 3 will be minus 4. So my y minus 4 is the side of this. Now how to find this vertical side? We know the length of from here till the end. The vertical length is x plus 5 and this length we know so x plus 5 and this length sorry this length we know it's x so x plus y minus x so i can cancel minus x and plus x so it will be 5 is remaining so the side of this is 5 so the side of this is 5 so we know all this side so y minus 1 y minus 1 this side is x x and this side we got it as y minus 4 so y minus 4 and this side is 5 plus 5 this side is given as 3 and x plus 5 how many x we have we have two different variable here there are 2x so 2x 2y's so 2y's minus 1 minus 4 will be minus 5 minus 5 plus 5 will be 0 then 3 plus 5 is 8 2x plus 2y plus 8. We can simplify here because all are even numbers which are present in multiple of 2. So if I take 2 as a common, x plus y, 2 2s of 2 4s are 8, so 4 is in the bracket. So this is the way you solve the L shape figure. I hope you understand. Thank you everyone. Bye.